Snow means something different to everyone. Snow takes all the complicated details and simplifies the landscape for the possibilities of uh, naturally occurring sculpture. For snow globe artists Walter Martin and Paloma Munoz, snow is what draws you into their surreal world. There's like a paradise feeling where man and beast live in peace and work together to do the laundry. Here they work out ambitions and exercise anxiety. Teetering is a te sense of teetering and of tenuous balance. The globes freeze miniature landscapes in wintry wonder, twisted logic, and macabre humor. It's like our own little form of poetry. Inspired by nature and the elements. We feel a lot of angst and dread uh, sometimes in the winter, and um, whew, it goes into the globe. The couple puts a modern twist on an age-old craft, transforming knickknacks into custom works of art. So imagine a world full of stories and the camera goes in and just picks up this little fragment in time and a little moment. And that's what the globes are. They're samples of a larger world, but becomes alive when you shake it. Working together for us is one experiment, maybe like a marriage, but it's a more complex marriage because we're trying to create art together. We've been doing the snow globes now for almost 15 years. We started in 2001, that was when we made the first one. And we had no idea we were going to be making snow globes 15 years later. Everything starts with a small canvas that is the space that you have to fill in the globe. And then you start adding figures and you continue to explore the landscape in relationship to those figures. I think I was fascinated with the way that snow kind of takes all the complicated details and simplifies the landscape, uh, the unification of the landscape. It tends to be a great equalizer. And when there's something outside of that world that's interjected into it, like a human with a colorful wardrobe or an animal or a small house or anything that's not of that world becomes a focus. It is a frozen world. We live at the edge of a small town and on the other side of our house is Northeastern American Forest. It's complete wilderness. And we walk it every day. And we love it. Depending on the day and the time of year and the time of day and weather, uh, the forest can offer you a totally different face. It's like we have one foot in the wilderness and one foot in civilization. We can bring those worlds together through our work. We say a lot of silly things throughout the day. It, it leaches into the work. I'm from Norfolk, Virginia, which is a flat coastal city in the Mid-Atlantic region, not known for its snowstorms. So I fantasized about escaping to a place where there was snow. For me, the challenge is always how to make something that is relevant, that contributes something to the conversation of what art is and what being a human being in this moment in time is like. A successful snow globe would be absurdist humor combined with a real human condition. I think people find their globes very interesting. They, they love them. They absorb you and they allow the viewer to be immersed, even for just a few seconds, in a completely different world.